Mike Tyson has returned with even more intense training footage with his famous peekaboo style, and boxing professionals just can't be silent about it. Then, 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 his chance of winning gonna be great. But he he tried to stay back from Mike. He gonna he gonna get caught. Mm. Yeah, you know, you know, so you it's another piece of footage that's left many in shock as to how strong and energetic the boxing legend is at 58. Jake Paul must be terrified by the sight that July 20th is just two months away, and Mike Tyson hasn't backed out of posting his training footage since March when the fight was announced. If there's one thing Mike Tyson's training videos made many do, it's that they made many believe again in a fight as controversial as Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Boxing professionals were quick to shun and ridicule the idea, considering the 31-year age difference that'll divide the two fighters in the ring. Mike Tyson. I'm a glutton for pain, but I didn't, stop, I didn't sign any more checks, so. What got me into that stuff was self-hate, not loving myself and taking care of myself. No one person is an island. In order to succeed, you have to have help. You have to have goals. Without goals, who are we? That's what makes... Particularly, many were scared about Mike Tyson's health, especially seeing how his mentor Muhammad Ali lived the final years of his life. Many boxing supporters were quick to produce clips of the boxing legend on crutches. While others went as far as making their claims on social media, Oscar de la Hoya not only sounded fearful while he spoke about the fight, he was angered as to why such a strange sight would be a possibility. Or Jake. Michael Jake really is that? Who's gonna win? I got my boy Jake, 100 percent You know, Mike is Mike is tough. Mike is Tyson is Mike Tyson. So you never know how was the last thing to go and he definitely has the power. Jake is my is my boy. He's younger. He's However, Iron Mike Tyson has been showing up with training footage to rewrite the narrative and change the impression of many professionals and fans, especially his close allies like Dana White, who still have so many doubts regarding the coming matchup. During an interview, Dana White said he gets mad when I do this, but Mike is 60. I don't know, but what do you guys think about it? No one cares what I think. It's not my fight. I love Mike Tyson personally as a friend, and he's one of my favorite athletes of all time. I don't know. Let's see what he can do there. Put together a training camp and come in. I don't like to see guys fighting at that age. It'd be a 31-year-old age difference during that fight. You guys know what I think of that stuff. I don't think so much about it. And I, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Who gives a shit what I think? It's not my fight. Um, I love Mike Tyson, you know, personally as a friend, and he's one of my favorite athletes of all time. Um, I don't know. The baddest man on the planet has shown up again with footage of his famous peekaboo boxing style. And what has got many talking points is the speed and energy that are still very evident in how he uses the style. You bend your legs and lean more forward, just straight up. Um, the people style is known as almost like a crab technique in Japanese karate. You hand it down, your hands up, and you jab, you punch it. You... In the latest clip shared on his social media handle, Iron Mike Tyson was seen training with Raffle Cordo, and this time he wasn't just throwing punches at his trainer. He was also doing the peekaboo style as he tried to defend and attack simultaneously quite unusually. Rafael Cordo was wearing boxing gloves and throwing punches at Mike Tyson as well. However, Mike Tyson defended the punches with the peekaboo and threw counterpunches in return. On seeing this, boxing professionals quickly took to social media to make their claims regarding Mike Tyson's training sessions. Tyson's success using the peekaboo boxing style made it a popular style among young boxing practitioners. It is now a more widely taught fighting style, and many stocky power punchers use peekaboo. Key principles are built upon the bad intentions concept citation needed, which emphasizes the D'Amato philosophy. The general idea is that the peekaboo practitioners are counterpunchers, who, contrary to accustomed ways of counterpunching, perceive as constantly backing up and jabbing from a safe distance, move forward and do it with a lot of aggressiveness by constantly charging at the opponent, provoking him into throwing punches to counter and subsequently into making mistakes to capitalize on by creating openings and dominant angles of attack. The peekaboo boxing style is effective, but a fighter must dedicate months or even years of training to learn it. 
Let's go over the main points of this boxing style. The first feature you'll notice about the peekaboo style is the hand placement. In this stance, your guards are held right under your eyes, holding your hands up. This leaves your chin and nose fully protected. Peekaboo boxing uses relaxed hands with the forearms in front of the face and the fist at nose eye level. Other unique features include side-to-side -side head movements, bobbing weaving, and blindsiding the opponent. A fighter using the peekaboo style is drilled with the stationary dummy and on the bag until the fighter is able to punch in rapid combinations with what D'Amato called bad intentions. The style allows swift neck movements as well as quick ducklings and bad returning damage, usually by rising uppercuts or even rising hooks. Another trait that distinguishes the peekaboo style from other boxing stances is the low crouch. In this stance, a fighter has a more exaggerated crouch than in traditional stances. The point of the peekaboo low crotch is to take away potential punching targets. This low stance and high guard can make a boxer feel more protected. Fighters who use the peekaboo stance stand squarer than traditional boxing stances. Both feet are pointed forward, facing the opponent. Peekaboo footwork is not that frequently noted by observers, which usually focus on upper body movement and striking, but it sets the base for both effective upper body movement and punching with leverage. The footwork is aimed at closing the distance that the opponent cut off his escape. Routes negate his reach advantage and create dominant angles for attack simultaneously. To be able to slip and counter the opponent's punches, the practitioner should be able to do it from a neutral or near-neutral stance with his pelvis squared up in parallel against the opponent's pelvis, for it creates more room for the lateral upper body movement side to side with more amplitude and places conventional boxers in an unfamiliar position relative to the peekaboo practitioners. The peekaboo boxing stance is defensive while also being offensive to fighters who use it. Constantly move forward and never backward to exert constant pressure. One of the most important features of the peekaboo is its constant head movement. It is a counterpunching style involving a fighter's flow with the movement of their opponent's punches. Slipping punches in the peekaboo stance gives fighters perfect angles to throw powerful counters. All attacks used in the peekaboo fighting style come from counters. You only attack once you create an opening three cues diedo. Fighters are synonymous with the peekaboo. Those fighters are Floyd Patterson, Mike Tyson, and Joe Torres. Floyd Patterson was a 2x2 world heavyweight champion who was the first to use the style. He is considered one of the most devastating power punchers in boxing history. Tyson took many elements of Patterson's style to create the peekaboo style he famously used in his career. Toes Torres was one of the best fighters that Cusato trained during his career. The peekaboo style fighter became the lineal light heavyweight champion. Che Torres is considered one of his era's best light heavyweight fighters. The fighter who is synonymous with the peekaboo boxing style is boxing legend Mike Tyson. He is the fighter who popularized and revived the peekaboo style, staying crouched with tight guards and constant head movement to deliver numerous highlight reels. Coast, and that's all for now. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel until next time. Peace out.